hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Mdea J and today's video is a product review so I recently had the opportunity to go to the makeup academy foundation pro base foundation concealer launch now if you guys are proper like UK gems you know makeup academy MUA cosmetics MUA cosmetics is one of the oldest drugstore brands that I know of they've been in super drug they've been in boots they've been on in the market for a long time and I'm pretty excited that they've decided to work on their base products like I remember back in the day going into like super drug looking for a drugstore foundation not being able to find any makeup Academy had probably three or four or maybe even just five shades of foundation and there was like one dark shade for all women of color like black skin women and I'm like that's not the way so I'm really really excited that they've got a team working on a whole pro base collection I mean we're talking about primers we're talking about concealer we're talking about foundation we're talking about bronzes I mean we're talking about the whole shebang so I'm happy that they've started to think about skin based products and started to produce them so I'm going to show you guys I'm going to concentrate really on the pro base foundation and concealer and I will try my hardest to do a wear test but yeah this video is going to be me testing out the foundation and concealer seeing how it holds up against their claims so if you want to know my thoughts about this five pound foundation yeah and two pound fifty concealer yeah then keep watching <laughs> so this is the bag that i received so i'm not really in frame that i received from the event and they gave us this nice little brochure that gives me all the information that i need about the foundation itself so before we get into the little booklet and talk about the claims of foundation i want to go ahead and start priming my face as i said they did come out with base products or primers and stuff like that so i'm going to start using them and we're going to build up from there so they do have a pro base primer oil now this primer oil is super absorbent uh, it's a super absorbent facial priming oil formulated with gold flakes to add luminosity leaving a radiant flawless and dewy finish now i'm not going for a dewy finish today so we're gonna set her down for now and we'll go on to the next uh, primer base that I picked up so that they have the pro base mattifying flawless primer now this one is silky it's a luxurious primer with added vitamin E and smoothing spherical powder particles once applied this creates the perfect canvas in which to to aid even makeup application so this sounds like something I might try um, and then I have the primer spray now this one is weightless priming mist ideal for locking in moisture and aiding makeup application apply after skincare routine to ensure a soft and smooth base perfect for a flawless makeup finish so okay I'm gonna go ahead and use this one first and then it looks like I'm gonna be using this mattifying flawless primer because I said I want to keep my base looking matte I don't want a dewy finish I'll probably use the dewy primer oil with a drier foundation another time so I'm going to go ahead and apply this one so I'll give it a little shake and then I'll hold it away from my face and just go for it now I'll let that dry now it doesn't have an awful smell or anything. It smells of like cucumber and avocado, avo cucumber, avocado, just green leaves like freshness. So I love that smell. So while that's drying, I also picked up this product. Now this one is called um, the Soothe and Cool Primer Stick. And it says instant hydration in a stick once applied this formula gives a cooling sensation on the skin perfect for reducing puffiness and soothing skin apply after cleansing morning and evening so I probably should have used this after I cleanse but you know we'll do it we'll use it some other time so that's definitely that one and then I have the smooth set and prime blur stick now it says it's a solid priming stick um, so solid balm which fills in fine lines and minimizes the appearance of pores 
for a super smooth soft base apply before makeup for the ultimate pro base right so I am definitely gonna use this okay right I think I've sprayed my face with that primer water I'm going to probably use this in my t-zone area because it is a mattifying flawless primer and I'm gonna use this on my cheek area where I've got larger pores so let's go <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. This primer isn't drying down or anything. It feels really slippery, but we have to keep going. So, yeah, let's move into the foundation. So, the star of the show is the Pro Base Long Wear Matte Finish Foundation. Now, this claims to have this claims to be full coverage. It's a long wear formula with a matte finish. It says it blends easily for a shine control that lasts all day. It is cruelty free. It will last you 12 months and you've got 30 mil of product in it. You've got the shade number on the top. So we're going to get into all the shades and everything in a minute. But you've got a shade number on the top and it's a frosted glass finish. The applicator is like a spatula which you've got on the inside it doesn't particularly have any smell it smells like nail varnish um, so not off putting or anything so MU Academy came out with 24 shades and they've got 24 shades of concealer that match the foundations exactly so 185 for foundation is 185 for concealer so there is no confusion or anything there it retails for five pounds it is paraben free it's formulated with antioxidant fueled vitamin e to help protect the skin um, it's a matte finish which blends easily and it's buildable which enables you to perfect the cover you require for your ultimate pro base yeah buildable coverage is what i'm here for so this is the shade range so you've got an even number of light, medium and dark and hopefully they will expand this shade for a first launch especially for the fact that MUA hasn't really been into skin based products like that I think it's a pretty decent even across board 24 um, colors released you know it's alright across board so it's not a case that they came out with 30 shades of beige and then 2 shades of dark it's 888 everyone's even so hopefully they will expand that range and it's the same case for the concealer you've got 888 24 shades all matching the foundation the concealer itself retails for two pounds fifty and this is what it looks like it's more of a plastic type of finish like a hard plastic type of finish um, it is also cruelty free it says it's lightweight uh, which covers up imperfections with a smooth flawless finish Full coverage concealer so I'm quite excited to, to try that out it says it can be applied on the right to help neutralize dark circles and it's the perfect camouflage for any blemish blemishes or areas of redness lightweight formula which offers buildable coverage to achieve a natural flawless finish so big claims um, so we're gonna try that out so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with and start off with the foundation now when I was matched I was matched with 186 um, which to me it would just looked too dark so I went ahead and I selected 185 which I think is a little darker because I believe that this foundation will oxidize that's my belief if it is we're gonna find out in a second so let's go
So I put three stripes here and two here. And this is the coverage, so I'm definitely gonna have to add more to this because I need full coverage, honey. It did say buildable, so I'm just gonna keep adding until I'm satisfied with the coverage. But I do like the way it applies. It's easy to blend in, as you can see. I guess if I was going for a more natural looking coverage, this would be alright, but you guys know. So we're going to speed through this because your girl's going in. Oh, car. Right, two things. I can tell you off the bat, it definitely oxidizes because this is not how... Okay, simple. Let me just put a little bit of it from... And then match it to my face. It's definitely lighter on my face than... On my hand than it is on my face. So one thing, it definitely does oxidize. How much it oxidizes, we'll soon find out. Another thing is, if you're a full coverage, like like full coverage is life type of girl you're gonna run through this bottle quite quickly already like I used quite a lot to get a full coverage but but it's 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 buildable it's just I'm scared to keep building it because I don't want it to crack when it sets but I can still see my imperfections but you know it is buildable it is buildable so um yeah, let's see how we get on. Let's just carry on and then see. So I'm going to go ahead with the concealer and just do what I do. I wasn't kidding about being lightweight. This thing isn't very thick. Um, this concealer, it's very lightweight. And I don't think the coverage is there there. I think I'm going to have to layer this a little bit to get the coverage. My shade is in 182, but obviously it's lighter than my foundation shade because I like the highlights. But it's looking like this, the same color of the foundation. Like, Foundation is 185 and I've got concealer of 182, but it's still looking like the same foundation. That's one. And two, the applicator isn't the best. Like, it's so small and it's not bringing out a lot of product. It's literally bringing out the tiniest bit of product at a time. So I'm having to dip in quite a bit. So that you guys be aware. I'll blend this out and I'll set it with my um, loose powder and we'll move on from there. So I've still got one or two products to try out then I'll give you guys my initial first impression and hopefully I'll be able to come back to you guys because I'm hoping to make this a wear test because I am going out tonight so this foundation better look good. So yeah. Right, so I'm back, my eyes and and um, brows are on. I don't have a tutorial for this look because I was just playing with makeup. I really just wanted to test out the Tammy X Revolution, her second collaboration with Makeup Revolution, just to see how I'm liking the palette before doing a look on, on YouTube or Instagram or whatever. I normally do this for palettes and just test them out without recording or anything, unless if I'm purposely doing a first impression, so yeah. I think I need to play with this palette a little bit more, but back to the makeup. So, powder is off from underneath my eye, and I can already see, like, breaks and dark patches. You guys can see there, where it looks like this, the concealer is either separating 
or it's separating or drying I don't know really dry but it looks really really bad it looks really sunken um, but we're gonna carry on because we don't have much of a choice so I also got the Pro Base full coverage matte press powder this is in shade 182 yeah I couldn't find 185 <laughs> so this is in shade 182 and I don't think it's going to match me too well um, this is what it looks like in the pan. I think it's going to be slightly light because this is exactly the shade of the concealer. But I'm going to go ahead and try to use it to set my face because I haven't done that. So I'm just going to start off with a little bit. Powder retails for £2.50. It's matte. Um, it has antioxidants antioxidant vitamin E it's lightweight and it says it applies evenly um, I'm not too confident because of the shade match but I'm just gonna okay that's not too bad actually yeah that's not bad There is quite a lot of kickback from the powder though, quite a lot. So I think I'm going to take my beauty um, sponge and really go underneath the eye as well because I don't mind it not being brightened, I just don't want that dark patch there. I'm really going to press the powder in there and go over my nose because I'm not highlighting anymore. <laughs> I just want even coverage right now. That looks better. That makes it look a lot better. Alright. That powder is good. It feels good. Bit of kickback but it feels good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face off camera but and then I'll come back to you guys because I got another powder in a darker shade and I'm probably going to use that to try and contour. So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face. So my bronze is on now so I'm going to go ahead and use 192. It's a really dark shade and do you see how impressive this dark shade is? Yes. I'm going to use it to contour. I'm going to just a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to go overboard with it. <laughs> I don't have a setting spray but oh, I really like that bronzer and I don't have a blush so I'm going to apply my blush and setting spray off camera. I will also apply my highlighter, lipstick, my hair, change of clothes <laughs> and I'll come back to you guys with my thoughts for now. Okay. So this is it with my lip, my highlight and my blush on. So I'm going to give you guys my first impression and I will try my best to come back this evening um, and you know give you guys an update right now it's 5 29 and I started my makeup let's just say about an hour ago so that's 4 29 so I will try and come back to you guys after dinner just to let you know how it's holding up but so far I actually do love the consistency of the foundation it is matte it's comfortable matte and it did dry down which is really good especially for myself that I've got oily skin the powder is helping as well the powder as well is matte I was really really pleasantly surprised about the powder and the shade match because that powder is darker than the foundation that I'm using but it's just about a shade darker because that was 186 and the foundation, no actually it's a shade lighter so the powder was 182 and the foundation was 185 so I'm a bit wary but I do like the finish of it the concealer, I'm yet to give my opinion about that because I didn't like the effect that it gave underneath my eyes I'm really happy that the powder was able to salvage um, the concealer but I can still see it peeking through a little bit so hopefully when I come back to you guys I'll have a better feeling as to if I like it or not but so far I, I'm loving 
I'm loving the products. I think they work really well, so time will tell. So I'll come back to you guys, hopefully tonight. I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised. For the price, I'm, I'm loving it. So yeah, catch you guys soon. <sighs> Hi guys, so I am back and the time now is 9.32, if you can see. 9.32, so I did my makeup, my foundation about 4.29 I think we said. Admittedly, it's not a really long period, but at least it's over five hours or they're about five hours and I'm gonna take it off because I need to go to bed you know so I'm just gonna come back to you guys with my thoughts now so looking at my face I haven't blotted I haven't done anything I had really good dinner and it looks really good um, I I'm not sweating anywhere except for my nose and it's just the tiniest bit so if you can see my nose is a bit oily my forehead is matte my cheeks are matte I've got a little bit of separation around my I mean really I'm just nitpicking at stuff just a little bit of um, separation the concealer that I thought would fall apart because of the way it looked here it looks pretty good like the base looks really really good and this is after five hours of wear I'm really impressed with this absolutely impressed with it I think Obviously, I do blot during the day, so I'm going to go ahead and blot and just show you guys what it looks like. See if it moves or shifts the or anything. The blotting powder that I use is the Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie Powder with the Kabuki brush. So I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm literally just going to blot and see if it just mattifies anything, you know, without shifting what it looks like. Bam, we're matte. Okay, here's my final thoughts. I love this foundation. Yes, honey. I don't mind the concealer. You do have to use quite a bit. Same with the foundation, but for five pounds and for two pounds fifty, yes, please. I love the powder as well. Nice and matte, fills the pores. I love the primer. It didn't dry down to a fully matte finish, but it doesn't matter because my pores. What pores, sis? What pores? You can't see anything. Everything is smooth out. I love the mattifying primer. It lasted five hours. Normally, a mattifying primer for my T-zone only ever lasts about an hour or two before I'm really, really oily. So for five hours, that's not bad at all. I absolutely love everything that I use today and I fully, fully recommend it. Um, just let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the overall results? Are you excited for this foundation? I love the price point. I love the products. I think they work really, really well. Um, you can get yours from Superdrug. Get yours from Boots, I think, MUA is in. Don't quote me, but definitely from Superdrug. I will link the products that I use down below as well, just for you guys to check and my shade reference as well, if it helps you. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this foundation and all the products that I use. On this note, I think I'm just gonna leave you guys and just say that I absolutely recommend this product and I think that you should definitely try them out yourself, see how you feel. I don't know if they'll work well for, my, um, for dry skin, but surely for oily combination skin like mine, I definitely recommend. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly, hand on heart, appreciate you guys fully. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have a thumbs up to this video, please go ahead and thumbs up and leave me a little comment. I do appreciate every single comment. Remember, God doesn't like ugly, so please be nice to someone today and I'll catch you guys in a future video.